SFL Nation, what up though? It's your boy. <clears throat> On my cool down. Still no waterway suit yet. Coming up. Say a few things, get off my chest. Number one. Diamond Donnie Hands. I don't know who gave him that nickname. That's like a damn wrestler. Not a football player, but it's whatever. But Donnie Hands, he up for SFL League MVP and Offensive Rookie of the Year. I don't think he'll get MVP, but I'm just happy to see him even get nominated for it because he had that kind of season. But I will cast my, my vote for him to get Offensive Rookie of the Year, not Offensive Rookie of the Year, Offensive Player of the Year because uh, he balled out, man. Led the league in receiving yards. I think he had, like, ended up with three more yards than Hall of Famer D.R. Sim. And tied the league in touchdowns. Carried our offense sometimes. He gets my vote. Mark Mello, third season defensive end. I remember just last season he told me he didn't feel like he was contributing enough. I said, man, let's be patient, dog. Yeah, coaching plays a factor in your production, but so does your uh, progression. I know I'm the right coach for the job, but you're not there yet. But he arrived this season, y'all, and he showed out. Tied for the league, league with 15 sacks. Led the league amongst all defensive ends with 50 tackles. Led the league amongst all defensive ends with 31 tackles for loss and had a fumble recovery. If he don't win that award, come on, man. A lot of good candidates out there, but my man balled out this season. Had it not been for legend settings, he might have broke some records, but that's another story for another day. AJ, I didn't even realize how much stuff she actually does outside our team for the league that I'm referring to. I didn't realize she did that much stuff. But what put me over the top was that interview she had with Cam and Mike St. Green at halftime. How you doing? <laughs> at halftime. She, she does wellness checks with us all the time in the locker room. But what I didn't know until then was that she actually does wellness checks with at least two members of every SFL team once a month too. I did not know that, Ashley. That's what's up. If that doesn't scream if that does not scream, Community Ambassador Award winner. Outside of everything else she already does, I don't know what does. Her show is broadcast in 70 countries. Come on, man, wellness checks on every team. Who doing that? Actually, you get my vote. And last but not least, something that touches my heart, y'all. Because I'm not, I'm not gonna even touch on me being a candidate for owner of the year. I'm flattered enough just being nominated. Let them chips fall where they may. I do this for my squad, not for me. I was more happy for them to win that playoff game than me, because they, they stuck by my side when they could have bailed and went to a team with more wins. When we were only winning four games and they came back. When we only won five games and they came back. We won six games this year and made a run, and then they beat Denver. Had them on their heels. Man, I thought we had that game. But it's all good, though. Like Frederick Douglass said, without struggle, there's no progress. Arizona's progressing, and we coming. And last but not least, something that touches me to my heart, which is kind of personal. I can't really say too much because 
of league mandated rules that doesn't allow me to really speak on it too much, but I'll just let y'all do the math and speak in a parable like Jesus did back in the day. <sighs> so I gotta be careful how I choose my words, y'all, but um, there's some things coming down the pipe that has been brought to the table before, but I think this season something's gonna happen because of the way it was put on the table. And I'm not allowed, allowed to speak on it. I almost messed up and said something, but something is coming that's gonna force me to make a decision. Because currently, if this happens, and I think it will, because of the way it's drawn up. And it's hard for me to even speak on it because I'm passionate about this particular topic. And uh, it's close to my heart. I gotta turn around. But um, if this happens, y'all, Eddie Gage, days in the SFL, both as a player. Oh, man. <laughs> Eddie Gay's days in the SFL as both a player and an owner are likely numbered. And it hurts me to even say that or even fathom it because I can't see myself not a part of this league, but if the league is gonna take something from me that I'm passionate about, <laughs> I can't see myself continuing being a part of this. And I purposely waited to say this after a certain thing took place yesterday because I'm not trying to influence anyone's decision making. And Cam knows what I'm talking about and ownership knows what I'm talking about because I touched on this before. I don't like influencing people's decision. I want them to make their decision based off how they feel. And if this happens, that's that feel gonna be just fine without me. I'm not saying this to threaten anybody or push any weight around, that's not what this is about. I'm just saying that maybe it might be time for me to go and find another hobby. Because if what's happened, if what happens that I'm thinking is gonna happen the way it was construed, the way it was proposed, This particular situation right here, I'm gonna lose out on. And uh, it'll be an emotional time for me. And it's crazy because I've had owners tell me it's not personal. Yeah, it's not personal to you because you don't have a dog in that fight, fam. It's personal to me because I do. And they tell me not to take it personal when it affects me. Now what I'm talking about y'all, it's crazy because it's so right now, so it don't even affect, it wouldn't even affect but a handful of people. But it's people out here who want to see this through. Regardless. And uh, we'll see how it play out, but I don't think I'm gonna win this time. Arizona, I love y'all and I always will. And I'm sure 
that if and when this happens, somebody take over that mantle and keep Arizona pushing or migrating somewhere else or their city or whatever the case may be. But just know that I love y'all and I always will. And again, I'm not trying to dictate nothing to nobody, which is why I waited for a certain date and a certain time and a certain event in the place before I even mentioned this. But if this goes through, y'all, my days in SFL are definitely numbered. And I just want y'all to know I have fun. But if this happens, maybe it's just time for me to find a new hobby, which is going to be hard to do because right now I can't see my life outside the SFL. But, um, Damn, man. We'll see what happens. Arizona, I love y'all. SFL, I love y'all. Arizona, without y'all, there is no me. And I um, just want y'all to know that it's been fun, no matter what. If this happens, it won't happen immediately because, at least I don't, well, it depends on how it happens, but we'll see. Arizona, I love y'all. I'm out. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. Peace.